Western North Carolina is famous for a lot of reasons. How about those beautiful vistas that seem to go on forever? The mountain region is also known for its Christmas trees. Lots and lots of Christmas trees. And how about cheese? Yep, I said cheese. Take a trip with me to the Ashe County town of West Jefferson. That's where you'll find the oldest cheese making facility in North Carolina, the Ashe County Cheese Company. Well, the cheese plant was built in 1930. Uh, at that time, there's a lot of dairy farms in the area. Uh, now there's not so many. Most of our milk comes out of the Piedmont area or Southwest Virginia. Um, but uh, it was built by the Kraft Company, and Kraft owned it for up until the mid 80s. And uh, at that time, uh, some individuals bought it, and uh, the current owners have had it since 90, 1994. By the way, if you've never seen cheese made, this place shows you how it's done. They've got a viewing room where you can watch it happen. Even for a small operation, the Ash County Cheese Company isn't making just a little bit of cheese here and there. Average week, we make 30 to 36,000 pounds of cheese, but we make about uh, 25 different varieties of, of different cheddars, uh, mostly harder cheeses. We don't do many soft cheeses. The basics of making cheese haven't changed. Well, the milk comes out of the, the holding tanks through a pasteurizer, and then it's uh, put into the vats. And our vats, we've got two 20,000 pound vats and one 5,000 pound vat. And uh, those vats will fill, will fill up, and then what we do is we add, add the ingredients to make cheese, which is a starter, uh, and then a rennet, which makes the milk coagulate. And then we add a color to the cheese that makes the, makes the cheese yellow. Uh, and the, cheese is, or the milk is heated, and as it heats, it begins to separate, and then you have your curds and your whey. Uh, the curds is the solid part and the whey is the liquid. We drain the whey off and then the curds is left. We salt the curd and then the curd is dipped out into the forms. And you, we put them in either a 22 pound form, a 40 pound block form, or a 12 pound round form. Next, the cheese is aged for a period of time. Ash County Cheese makes mostly cheddar from mild to sharp to extra sharp. The differences in making mild or sharp cheeses aren't what you might expect. We have a lot of people that come in and ask if, if we're making sharp cheddar or mild cheddar that day. Well, all fresh cheddar is mild cheddar, and as it ages, it gets sharper. It usually takes about a year to make a good sharp cheddar, uh, and then, uh, and then after, after a couple years, after two years, you usually call it super sharp or extra sharp, and then you can, you can call it by the age of the cheese, a three-year-old cheddar or a four-year-old cheddar, and it just gets sharper and sharper. And you can age cheddar cheese up to 10 to 15 years, and it just gets sharper and sharper. After the cheese has is, is been made and we let, it, we let it age for a couple days, and then we wax it, and it's depending on what the customer wants, and we'll either wax it in a red wax, a black wax, or a clear wax, and then we'll put it in either a cardboard box or a wood box. After packaging, some of the cheese is shipped out to retail locations, and some of it goes right across the street to the Ash County Cheese Store. In addition to the various kinds of cheeses sold at the store, you'll also find many other North Carolina sauces, wines, and other local products. The store stays pretty busy. It gets pretty crazy in the, the fall, and uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, mail orders uh, around Christmas time, and uh, but we're open year-round, and, and it's it's pretty busy year-round. Ash County Cheese has been making and selling cheese here in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina for over 75 years, and looks toward the future and separating more curd from the way. <laughs>